Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with another Firewall Zero Hour video. This one is all about the huge and extremely moist new update coming called Operation Nightfall. And yesterday we learned loads of new information regarding it, including its release dates, which is the 21st of May, and that is of course next Tuesday, so not far away at all. Get absolutely hype. And we have pretty much all our questions answered from the last video that I did. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and get into these juicy details. Okay, so yesterday two things happened. We got a brand new trailer that details a lot of the changes coming with Operation Nightfall. And I'll have that playing in the background right now. But we also got a blog post from Damon Shabs over on the PS blog where he goes into the nitty greasy details of what we can expect and there is a lot of information here. Now the first thing Shabs talks about is the brand new seasonal progression system that has been added to the game and this revolves around missions, tasks and rewards. So it kind of resembles a battle pass if you've seen that in like Fortnite and them kind of battle royale games. So Shabs talks about how they've changed up the current challenges that are in the game and made them more meaningful. So that means either challenges have been replaced and are no longer in the game or they've evolved into one of these missions or task category type things. So what is the difference between a mission and a task? Well each week we will be given a mission which will yield some kind of cosmetic reward upon completion. Tasks on the other hand are daily and will reward you with just crypto and XP. Now things do get a little bit complicated here because there are more than one type of weekly mission. So this is because First Contact Entertainment are adding an op pass to the game. So for the price of $9.99 you can purchase this pass and get access to some extra missions in the form of premium and bonus missions, which will unlock more cosmetic items. So let's take a look at this image here from the PS blog to see what the difference is between having the pass and not having the pass. So whether you have the pass or not, you will get access to the two new maps, which are Hangar and FOB. Though FOB won't come out until halfway into this season. Daily tasks and eight free mission rewards are the other two things that everybody will be getting. Now the rest of the list then here is just for those who will be buying this op pass and those benefits include eight premium mission rewards and eight bonus mission rewards and I'll be very interested in finding out what the actual difference is between a premium mission and a bonus mission. You'll get access to two new contractors, Ruby who we have already discussed and a new contractor called Lynx who we know very little about. He'll be added halfway through the season and is briefly teased at the end of this trailer. You'll also get access to two new skills, one of which is Ruby's Thief skill, the other one will be Lynx's skill, but we don't know that one yet, but we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a bit. Now, the skill thing here feels a little bit like walking on thin ice. On the one hand, Shabs later points out that the skills are just timed exclusive to op pass holders and that after the nightfall season ends, the skills will be available to everyone. But on the other hand, this opens the door for a pay to win debate. Now Ruby's skill, Thief, isn't exactly going to win a game for anyone. But if Lynx's skill is more impactful, and I think it will be to the gameplay, then it could be a little bit problematic. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Finally, Op Pass holders will have a chance to unlock a legendary weapon skill. For Operation Nightfall, this will be Okoro's AK-47. And you have to admit, that thing looks badass. The lion carving on the stock is truly moisture inducing. But if you want to get your hands on this bad boy, then not only will you have to be an op pass holder, but you'll also need to complete all 24 missions. So that's the 8 free missions, the 8 premium missions, and 8 bonus missions. And you'll need to hand over on top of all that, 250,000 crypto, which is a considerable amount. I think I only have something like 200,000 right now. So maybe I will be using that thief skill after all. Now you may be wondering where the new weapons are on this list, and I believe they are going to be free mission rewards, but we'll get to the weapons in just a bit. Next up, Shabs talks about the new contractors and new maps. We'll be getting two of each. The first map, Hangar, actually takes place in Malaysia. Now, is this some kind of nod to Malaysian airliners gone missing or something? I don't know. But in the developer stream, the UI stated that Hangar took place in the UK 
and that's just something I went over before so it turns out that must have just been a placeholder. Now the second map which will release sometime mid-season is called FOB which stands for Forward Operating Base and we see it teased here at the very end. Now the most exciting part of this map is that we see it has weather effects. Now in this case, a sandstorm. So we can assume this takes place in a desert environment on some type of military outpost. I'm getting very big Metal Gear Solid 5 vibe from the shot we see here. Now during this tease, we also get a glimpse of what I assume is the new contractor, Lynx. Now we see Lynx in the distance, but he is clearly in a downed state. Then we hear the Revive audio cue, take a listen. And Lynx rises to his feet. This feels like a big clue to Lynx's skill being the ability to revive himself from a down state. It is possible that an off-screen teammate shot him with the revive dart, but I think there's just too much emphasis on the revive aspect for it to be anything else. If true, then this resurrection skill, we'll call it for now, would definitely impact gameplay more than Ruby's thief skill, and then you're talking about pay to win kind of stuff, at least timed exclusive pay to win, if you know what I mean. So that can get a bit messy, it'll be interesting to see how the community reacts to that. Next, Shabs tells us about the three new weapons coming with Operation Nightfall two primaries, and finally, a secondary for the first time. So we're getting the Richardson SG-12, which is a cool looking pump action shotgun that seems to be based off the kel KSG, if my googling skills are accurate. Next, we have the Sarge, which is a pistol based on the iconic 1911 and is the very first DLC handgun added to this game. Hopefully, it'll be good enough to make me think about dropping the very useful revive pistol in order to use this instead. Now, finally, we have the Raptor, which we already talked about in the last Nightfall video, so I won't repeat myself there. Now, interestingly, in this image, we see that each of these weapons is a mission reward. So the shotgun is a week two reward, the pistol is a week five reward, and then the Raptor is week seven. So this raises a couple of questions. Firstly, when we are rewarded these weapons, do we immediately receive them or do we still pay crypto to access them? And also, what happens if I don't do the week two mission, for example? Do I miss my chance to get the shotgun? If so, do I have to wait until the season ends before I can get it? Like with the skills? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and how this is all going to work. So Shabs then goes on to talk about the new UI and quality of life changes. Now we've covered a lot of the UI in the last video, but there are a couple of differences here this time. And some things that we now understand better that we didn't know the first time. So starting with the operations tab, this has been renamed to the missions tab. And I'm guessing this is where you'll go to see the current weekly mission. On the left, this progress bar had us baffled last week, but we now know it's a progress bar towards completing all 24 of your missions. And finally, the mysterious USB symbol has been revealed to be a hack key. And we'll talk a little bit about hack keys in a minute. First, Shabs talks about the quality of life improvements we can expect to find in Nightfall, and these include squad optimizations, the ability to customize contractors in your lobby, hallelujah, can we get an amen? Map and laptop location refresh in bunker and compound, which we already knew, as well as updates to enemy indicators and headshot sound effects. So keep an eye out for all of that stuff. Now next up, Shabs talks about enemy AI, which I found very surprising. First Contact Entertainment have been working on improving enemy AI, and we even see some of this in the trailer. AI will now behave more like real players, breaching doors, hunting you down and using equipment intuitively, so you can expect an even bigger challenge from the level 50 AIs in this game than we already have now. Lastly, Shabs talks about new ways to access more content as well as changes being made on the PS Store to existing content. So Shabs breaks it down here, Operation Nightfall itself is free for everyone and will install as a free update to your copy of the game. The Nightfall op pass that will give you full access to all of the Nightfall missions and rewards that you can unlock. But for those who don't have time to be completing all these weekly missions and whatnot, you can buy these hack keys. So hack keys can be used to instantly complete a weekly mission, but only free missions. Doing this won't give you XP, but you'll receive whatever the cosmetic reward was for doing that mission and hack keys can be bought in bundles of five for $4.99. And then finally, there is the Nightfall Op Pass Plus 25 hack key bundle. Now the price isn't listed for this bundle here, but if you do buy this, you can use these keys 
on any type of mission free premium bonus whatever unlike the five bundle keys so keep that in mind when you're buying or if you're deciding on buying five key bundles or whatever that the five key bundles will not work on premium or bonus missions and then at the end of the ps blog article here Shabs talks about the current cosmetics that we already have on the PS Store. They're all going to be reformatted into seven different bundles and will be available for one week only. After that time, they'll be removed from the store. It says here that after May 21st, cosmetic items will be available in-game as rewards for completed missions. Now, I don't really know if that includes the ones they already had on the store or if those ones will be gone forever. So I'd like to see a bit of clarification on that one. Now, in the comment section of the blog, Shabs answers an important question that came in from Kussman, who you may know, he just watched this channel from time to time. How long will a season last? To which he replies, 12 weeks, stating that if you want the legendary Okoro AK-47, then that's the amount of time you have to earn us 12 weeks. And then that's it from the blog from Shabs. Now let's take a closer look at the trailer to see if we can spot anything interesting. And almost straight away, we are given an example of what a task will look like as on this monitor, we can read the following. It says, task one, eliminates certain number of players with any SMG. And beside it are spaces for how much crypto and XP that task will be worth. We also see a progress bar beneath it that shows he's got 25% of the current task complete. Now this could just be a stylized graphic so it might not look 100% the same in the game. But I think that's probably a realistic example of the types of tasks you can expect to see in this game. Next on this monitor here we see the map layouts likely for the hangar map itself so you can get an idea of how it will look and the size of us we get a good look at the unique reload animation here for the new shotgun before we see the new ai in action busting down a door here we also get to see the 1911 in action with a suppressor attached we see a screen here teasing a weekly mission but it doesn't reveal any details as it cuts away before the file is finished loading we get a look at new face paints and camouflages and new trinkets which include a pair of grenades and a gimp head now keep in mind, this is the stuff that you will be unlocking by doing these weekly missions. It's all cosmetic stuff. Next, we see Ruby's thief skill in action, which nets her 115 crypto from this poor Odin player. It's hard to say for sure if this will be a set amount or if better performing players will net you extra cash, but for now, it's probably safe to assume it's 115 per body. Here we see Ruby holding Okoro's sexy AK-47, and then the trailer ends with the tease that we've already talked about, so I won't talk about it again. And woof, that was a lot to go over. This really is Firewall's biggest update ever, and it might really change the flow of the game. It certainly raises a lot of questions. I would imagine that there'll be another season or another operation when this one is over, that will bring even more content, more legendary weapon skins, stuff like that. Because remember, a few months ago, Hess Berber stated in a Reddit thread that they were working on six new maps and that two of them would arrive in the coming weeks or months. Now the first two are Hangar and FOB, so if the remaining four maps follow this password, then First Contact Entertainment probably have at least two more operations lined up with two new maps for each one. And let's remember one thing. It is not often a PSVR exclusive game gets this kind of post-launch support. So First Contact Entertainment, I think, are to be applauded for not forgetting about this game. Yes, the game does have issues. Yes, there are bugs that need fixing and improvements that would be very welcome. But we know about them, First Contact Entertainment know about them, and who knows, maybe a lot of those fixes will be included in this update, but they just didn't mention them because they aren't really selling points. For those of you who are currently loving Firewall, however, this update looks very promising, and I think it might be worth picking up an op pass for $9.99 if you feel like you want to support this small team of developers who are breaking new ground on PSVR. Anywho, that's it for this video, lads and ladies. Before I go, let me give a shout out to my supporters over on Patreon, who are currently helping me get a better quality microphone for making these vids and I have to give them huge thanks. If you want to help me out the old-fashioned way with likes and subscribing and whatnot, I'd appreciate that too. We're pushing for 2,000 subs now, we're getting close. So anyway, bye for now, I'll see you in the next vid.